All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. And uh, yeah, today we're going to continue with the main story. And uh, before I do get started, I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat that I already played this mission before. And uh, the reason why we're replaying it is because, unfortunately, I ended up deleting the original footage. And uh, yeah, there was just no way to get it back. I tried everything and I just didn't create a backup save for that footage. So it was lo basically lost. And then I tried to go back to replay this mission on my original playthrough. And uh, I basically didn't save this far back in, in any save point. So there was just no way to replay this mission. So I had to create a like whole new account basically to replay this mission. I replayed uh, through everything we already played through in the, in the main playthrough in a sense. And uh, yeah, it took a while, but we're here. That's why uh, the wardrobe is a bit different. I still have the same scarf that you get for doing the jacked off side mission. So there's that. But uh, yeah, this is uh, the reason I'm also going to be level 10. I think in the original playthrough at this point, I was like level 13. So the enemies might be a bit harder this time around. I'm not going to lie. But on the bright side is that I know how to do this mission and it should be a lot quicker than the first time. I think the first time was about 45 minutes to complete it. But uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's just get right into it. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Inframuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me i said this the first time but it's pretty cool how they uh, got the ambience of the uh, forbidden forest you know the closer we get the more i'm remembering probably best i leave you to it simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath adieu is that latin or greek hmm I think it's Latin. I, I said it the first time that Entramudos basically sounds like Spanish, uh, which in Spanish it would be Entramudos, uh, which basically means enter enter walls, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, by the way, I, I would go the other way. Keep going. I would go the other way, but there's like these giant spiders on the other side of those enemies that are over there, and they're pretty high level. So I'm just going to ignore them for the meantime. Um, I faced them off the first time in my first playthrough, and uh, yeah, I had to redo those... Uh, those uh, spiders a couple times because they kept killing me. Um, so yeah, there's that. What are these things? Are these like quails or something? Like, what are what are those? <gasps> They're freaking centaurs, bro. I kind of want to go over there and just see like what's up, dude. Oh, but I feel like they're going to attack me. Because, yeah, I don't think they're friendly. All right, so let's just ignore them for the meantime. But that's pretty cool. That's the first time I actually encounter centaurs. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. You know, it is kind of unfortunate that we don't get our, uh, our uh, I guess, what do you call those? Our, our bird or our animal that you get in Harry Potter. I think my my animal that I ended up getting in the Harry Potter app was, uh, it was like some sort of, like, um... It was like some sort of eagle, if I'm not mistaken, or something, something closely related. About this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Oh yeah, the stags over there. You know something? I said this in my first playthrough that this place reminds me of like where uh, Harry Potter did his very first uh, Patronus in the in the Prisoner of Azkaban. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Yes. Get the save over here real quick. I don't remember if there was anything back here. No, there wasn't. All right. Intramuros. 
Intramuros. That looks like an eye. Yep, I knew this was gonna happen. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. <laughs> Looks like a short assassin. Oh, thankfully the enemies are not that difficult. I thought they were gonna be a bit more difficult. But I think they like uh Oh, I'm about to die. I just realized I have 13 uh, potions, healing potions. Yeah, when I went through this entire um, playthrough again to get to this mission, I basically just like speed run that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna die, dude. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. There you go. Take your shit. No risk, those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. All right, and we entered the caverns. How big this place is. Can't forget to pick those up. I'm still trying to figure out what these crystals are for. I feel like they're going to come in handy later on the line. Oh. Go through there? Wait, what? I need to light all three before they time out on me. That's exactly what I did. Okay, there we go. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. You know, it's kind of hilarious that they got lucky that we don't have a broom because realistically Someone speaking, right? Casual visitors down here. Any other person that would have talked to Jackdaw or encountered Jackdaw would have been able to get on their broom and just go over there and save themselves like doing all of these puzzles. <laughs> speaking of Jackdaw, he has the voice that you originally had. Help me through this. Like, there was, like, this bug at the beginning of Hogwarts Legacy where, like, if you chose any other voice besides the, the regular one, you would sound, like, exactly like Jackdaw. Like, very robotic. Oh, there they are. The spiders. So, what, what I noticed is that there's, like, three different types of spiders. There's, like, those giant queen spiders. They're the bearers, the ones that you just saw that burrow into the ground and pop up. Uh, basically right behind you and the ones that like spew out like webs or I think it's like poison. I, I can't remember. All right. Uh, let's see Come with me. Yeah, fire normally works against them. So it's oh, oh, I thought they threw me off the cliff. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay You see Expelliarmus is very satisfying I honestly believe that the ones that barrow into the ground are like the most annoying because uh, the other ones you could dodge their attacks but these if you're not paying attention to them they could easily like surprise you from behind and just uh, you know get you really oh there's a lot of spiders I think there's more here than I remembered yep just like that I'm gonna try to like round them up all together and try to get as many as I can. There we go. Get you with there. You know, Hagrid would be having a field day right here. 
Because if I'm not mistaken, like, Hagrid had, like, this giant spider. I think that was the reason why, uh, why he got kicked out of Hogwarts or something. Jesus! Yep, that's the prime example right there. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wow. I just, uh, basically wasted my, uh, my magic right there. There we go. Lucan's combination uh, classes basically helped me a lot there. That's all I'm saying. This is going to be our first chest. Let's see what we get. Elegant shirt and tie uniform. Alright, so we're level 11. All right, so there's like this little puzzle over here that we got to take care of. If I could summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. Oh, Jesus, that actually... <laughs> that actually got me. Oh, Jesus, okay. Oh, that was easier than I was expecting. Okay. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of it. Yeah, since Jack over here died, um, they're in, like, these caverns. We're gonna try to avenge my boy. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. House emblem scarf. Alright, I think that was it in this, uh, portion. Yeah, okay. Leviosa. Leviosa. Well, it's technically Levioso, right? Not Leviosa. Yeah, Levioso. Because it wasn't Hermione, like in the first movie, she was like, it's Leviosa. The know it all. Alright, so there's two over here. I think there was, like, another one. There we go. Yeah. That's just freaking horrifying. The fact that there's probably like spiders like these in Australia is pretty crazy to me. You know, there's times where I kind of wish there was a sort of like melee attacks in this game. But at the same time, it wouldn't make sense. We're wizards, bro, right? So, uh... Yeah, that would not make sense at all. I'm just making sure that I'm not missing anything. Uh, okay. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. How far is it down? Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, uh, let's go this way first. Incendio. A 
I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Wait, I'm not too sure if like these things actually like bring out like tiny spiders or do they just explode? Okay, they, oh no, they they do bring out little spiders. Oh yeah, this is the fourth class of spiders. I forgot to mention them. The little jumpers. They're like baby spiders basically. Incendio. There we go. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no late jumper it. attire. What is that? Oh. Alright, so uh, we did this side. Uh, we already did that side, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so uh, let's go to the next one. Accio. Why do I keep doing Lavioso? I don't understand. Shots on you, bitch. Yeah, I think it's the last spider. Yeah. Her clump of juice. Sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Sue, so, there we go. This would be a, oh I think I missed something over there oh I'm gonna go back um this would be a pretty cool like transportation form of transportation yeah there's something back there all right so uh yeah I think there's nothing left on this side let's see there we go an untouched chest yeah I gotta say there's not a lot of good things this time around on the on this cavern. Let's get rid of a couple things. Or maybe switch out the uh, gloves for like the dueling gloves. Yeah, these look pretty cool. They're, like nicely armored. Uh, okay, let me actually get rid of like some gloves. Let me get rid of the regular one. Uh, destroy. Uh, I'm not going to be using the glasses. So that's kind of like a big equation. Scarves. Do I need any scarves? Not at the moment. Yeah, I'm just trying to make room so that I'm able to, like, pick up more, uh, items. What is this one? I think I like this one better. Alright, uh, yeah, let me get rid of this one. There we go. In his search of this cave. Alright, so I think back here, I think we're done looking, uh, for, uh, items. Let me just pick up these, uh, horn cl or clump juice. 
That's honestly a weird name for like some mushrooms. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, if we go like down here, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Um, let me actually go back real quick. Uh, wait, I'm kind of lost. Wait, did we go through here? Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go back and explore the uh, area that we didn't explore before uh, we continue to the, uh, I guess, final portion of the mission. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, it should be the one on uh, the right right here. Go. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Burgundy Quidditch hmm. uh, well, gloves. As well help myself to honestly, this. honestly, it's probably gonna put my um, my level down, but I think it's gonna go nice with uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna go nice with like the robe and scarf we're like using at the moment. So yeah, I'm probably gonna use them. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. Wait. Okay, there we go. Okay. For a second, I was like, am I going the right direction? There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. He's calmly what the head of Richard Jackson. Accio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. It was a really nice combo right there. Take a barrel to the face. Another one. There we go. Yep, those are the uh, big spiders that I was talking about. I mean, they're all big, but these are bigger. I don't think they die with one of these. I mean, they get close to that, so that's not bad, actually. I should be able to take care of them. You know, I should have probably saved like that big barrel, the exploring barrel that I used on the small one. Very, very satisfying. Farewell, monster. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me. But yeah, I gotta get these very quickly. Uh, so there's the other one. I think there's a fourth one. No, it's not over there. I need to look around for the symbol. Can't be that one. Okay, I might have to struggle with this one because I don't remember where the fourth one was. Where is it? Because I remember the on the on the first try I did this uh, mission, I actually found it pretty quickly. I just can't remember where it's at. Because I don't think it's on in like the outer layer portion of it. I, I think it's like somewhere inside the uh, like inside this room actually, like maybe behind a waterfall. Uh, let's see. nope. Picking up some more mellow sweet. There we go. So there's, or maybe if I, maybe there isn't even a fourth one. Hold on, let me see. Let me see this. Okay, there we go. I 
must be getting closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. Mm, yep. We meet again, Richard Jack Daw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. When he said he got decapitated, he really meant that. Like, no wonder my boy didn't want to come over here. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? You know, I was actually surprised that we even found the lost pages of the book. Because uh, on my first playthrough, I was like, there's no way we're going to find the first pages. I was like, it would be way too, uh, way too sweet to find them right off the bat after we found out that there's missing pages, you know? But we actually did. So, yeah, it was pretty surprising. Yeah, we're going to take care of these guys so uh, our boy Richard Jack that could rest in peace. And uh, not in pieces. That was a really bad joke. I, I also cringed, guys. I also cringed. I should open this real quick. Sheepskin winter hat. Okay. I'm probably never going to use that. Some to face against the big baddies. All right. Oh wow! I missed everything. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't think Levioso was gonna work on him. That was beautiful. Yeah, I think that was it. All right. What? That's unnerving. What's happening? I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. It's amazing how seamless they managed to do that. Oh no. The room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Ancient magic, my guy. I feel like that would have been pretty obvious right off the bat, you know, since we're dealing with ancient magic and he already knows about that. Magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Yeah, like like I mentioned, it's pretty insane how they managed to do that so flawlessly. Like how you're like in a room that literally has no other room and then you just cross a doorway and boom, you're in a different room. Well, I think that's what a door kind of sounds like. But you know what I'm talking about. And also, like, let's say you're, like, underwater, like as we were just right now. And you cross over, and all of a sudden, you're not, uh, you know, underwater. You know, it's, it's, I think it's pretty cool. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure you do.
can it be? Wreckum. Percival Wreckum. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna skip over the talents because, um... On my recent video, you guys should be able to see what talents I end up choosing. So, yeah, there's uh, really nothing to choose here. Besides, besides, let me show you guys something. There's this talent that I really like, which is this one, Swift. Freaking cool ability, dude. It basically, in a sense, kind of replaces, uh, replaces dodging to an extent. So that you can, like, you know, go a bit further in terms of a dodge. But uh, it comes out of a consequence as well. So there's that. So you got to be careful with, uh, with Swift. Yeah, this is a really cool ability. Really awesome. Alright, uh, so there's no reason to go back there. Yeah, I had a question. I was like, I was wondering, what if uh, Jack Rackham, Rackham basically made it all the way here where the Percival is? What would have happened? Well, you know what? Never mind. I take that back because now that I think about it, um, Jack wasn't able to see uh, any of the uh, ancient magic, right? So uh, I think he wouldn't even have made it to this room at all. Yeah, okay, so he would have ended up dying uh, by the Sentinels either way, unless he escaped. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? As right, so we're back in the map chamber. You know, it kind of sucks that we never got to go back to uh, Jack and tell him that, you know, like, hey, we avenged you, bro. Like, we saw, we saw where you were at when we took them out, you know? But, uh, who knows, maybe down the line we'll get, like, other side missions from him. There are, like, 105 mission side missions in this game, so there's that. So there is a pretty big possibility. I never get tired of saying this, but I feel like they took a page out of, like, freaking God of War with the spiral staircases. Because, uh, God of War is, like, like I'm madly in love with them. Back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. I suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Yeah, I was pretty surprised when I, I realized we were back at Hogwarts. I was like, what the heck? But it's pretty cool, like, how this game just, like, interconnects everything. I'm gonna show you guys something real cool. This is a pretty looking, uh, cool looking dragon. So there's that. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I actually did this mission... Uh, faster than my first time, like I mentioned, and um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. To pulso, and uh, charm. useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Yeah, like I mentioned, uh, we're basically gonna be uh, continuing with my main account with with uh, the account that I originally did this mission on. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.